Make sure... Oh, we're going right into Never mind. Oh, they're uh, diving, waiting so, for nothing. With that said, we're going to go right into our set, right on to Pokemon Stadium. We have Diddy versus Lucario. Yes, we have Diddy versus Lucario. I uh, haven't seen this one a little bit, mostly because I just haven't seen uh, Slingshot go this far uh, in person for once, finally. I know you got second place last week as Dino, uh, 234. And I was gone, so now I can finally see what made him get to this stage. We are now fighting for third place, if I believe. Yes, we are fighting for third place at the moment. And you know what, honestly, a uh, pretty even start for both, for both players at the moment. Just kind of finding a, uh, a good setup for, for both of them at the moment. Yeah, you're really going to be seeing, um, you know, this Ooh. is one of those matches that you know, Diddy, while does have many ways to kill, does not have a whole lot of ways to kill below that, like, 130, 120 mark. Yeah. Um, and Lucario is absolutely a character that is going to be taking advantage of that. You're already seeing uh, Diddy come up with a strong start to this game number one. Yeah, this might be a match that Slingshot doesn't know that well, just because there's not many noble Lucarios in, uh, at least in the New York City area that I can think of at the top of my head. Great. Right over there, so that's what VV needs. And the more VV percentage that he gets, the more strong, the stronger he simply uh, gets against Diddy, which, like you said earlier, has to kill at 120, 130%. Alright, we're right back down to the floor once more. Okay, looking for uh, that, that, that stock taker right now is VV. The dash is not going to be enough just yet. Not yet, but now VV is uh, kind of trying to try charge with that aura sphere as much as he can. Possibly a bit of a lot of aura pressure. Oh, and that is going to take the first stock. Sling shot at 135%. And this is not something they should be celebrating too much. You're at very dangerous levels too. We get killed by uh, Lucario, even at his lowest percent at the moment. You gotta be wary though. Very excellent at taking these stocks off early. Yep. Uh, even without all that aura. Gonna get a little bit right here, um, right off the bat. Um, dead. There yeah. he is, dead. Yeah, super dead. That is one of the stronger counters in the game. Okay. Here we go, right? Pretty much, I would say this is a pretty neutral game at the moment. VV at 20%, since I was 0%, fresh off a new stock. And kind of screwing around one another, trying to find an opening for their uh, attacks. You know, Diddy respectfully with the banana, trying to get those banana flips as much as he can. Oh, but here goes VV coming with his own little combos and these anti airs as well. Yeah, that's the thing with Vivi, uh, just really a monster when it comes to neutral and stage control. Uh, does not let you get away with very much, and once Vivi does have that stage control, incredibly difficult to get back down to the ground. Diddy does have a lot of options, really solid at, you know, mixing that up. However, uh, Vivi's looking very good in the stock number two, and a trade with the monkey flip wow. is going to be so worth it. Yeah, definitely, definitely better in, uh, for VV at the moment. The, again, the more percent he gets, the stronger he he becomes. So, Slingshot definitely has to keep himself in a little bit more of a non-approachable situation because the more he pushes VV, the more he gets in these kind of tangles where he will get juggled just like that with, with uh, Lucario up airs. And also, now we're building up some more Aura Sphere, which is good. So simply going to get even stronger as he goes on. Yeah, and this is the thing is that it would be significantly better even if Vivi was just like at a... Uh, 110% at the end of that stock, mm -hmm. but Lucario at 90 is still living a little bit, so Lucario has many opportunities with a decent amount of aura at that. Yeah, um, that's perfect. But with a decent amount of aura, two like get extra credit, and 43% is nothing to scoff at when Lucario is going to be killing super early as soon as aura is active. And here we go. We have, uh, you know, we have Slingshot trying to rack up as much percent as he can. He has to rack it up and finish that. Oh possible. my god! <laughs> <laughs> you died! <laughs> you died! <laughs> you you di should have died! <laughs> that would have been that would have been a game. That would be really big for uh, Slingshot having a good lead right there. But we're just, we, you weren't dead. You simply didn't die, and now we have a pretty much even game. Kind of take control of the as much as he can. We have VV, you know, doing his oh great pair on the Aura Sphere. You might be seeing a little bit oh of Aura Sphere pressure. No missing. Oh, Bandit active on the platform at the moment. Yeah, and that's the thing right here now is because you did not get a confirmed hit to the stock, Baby is in a position uh, he's that he's living for a while. And you gotta take the stock off on this now. edge guard. Yeah, at this ledge trap, Baby gets back. Banana back in hand though, four slingshot. But he just threw the banana a little too far, ran right inside a little itty bitty power scare, parried the bigger one. And let's see, no, not gonna kill off that, but that off the bottom of that platform. But yeah, that will that definitely ledge. kill gotta know. by hitting on a ledge. You gotta know that move is huge. It hits ledge, starting around with Cario's like ninety percent aura mark. Um, it is a big old move, and uh, yeah, just gotta be aware of that. You can't can't chill at ledge against Lucario for that long, especially when you kind of instant grab it right away. You don't have a whole lot of invincibility. Mm -mm. Um, 
and with that high percentage, yeah, your vis your visibility goes down so yeah, much. You're gonna see this, the the or the 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 You can even see it's the Orsier is clipping the stage down here. It's going through. So yep. yeah, Diddy um, doesn't have a terrible left hand at all. Um, it looks like it does stick a little bit above ledge, yep. but um, still gonna get hit by that Orsier there. We're going right back to PS2. Yeah, I definitely agree just going right back to PS2, keeping neutral for both characters anyway. The card is one on the stage, Diddy is one on the stage, there's no reason. And besides, they also F they also FD'd. <laughs> they also banned FD and uh, small uh, Smashville, so, you know, here we go, we have going around the pit. Smashville, Smashville, Smashville. <laughs> um, Alright, so we're going to uh, the, again, we're going he here to uh, PS2, and with that, um, a strong start coming out for Slingshot. Again, these bigger stages, and Slingshot in general, in Game 2s is really, really solid. Makes some nice adaptations. Mm -hmm. um, and you're seeing it right here that's coming out so well. Immediately going for the down to a monkey flip, which is never confirmed. Oh, that was beautiful. But it's a great mix-up, and then he's going to take the stock. Yeah, using that Z-Drop on the banana, uh, the banana onto the ledge, and waiting for BB to kind of get trapped in a situation where if he rolls in, he will get monkey flipped or, uh, or grabbed, or he has to get flipped by the banana, and unfortunately he did get the banana instead. So that first thing would be that first stop will be going to slingshot. And uh, right now he's still doing amazing time. Missing the oh my god! You had it! Yeah, and Lucario, the thing is with Lucario F Smash is that like it's super slow. So if you don't like time it right away after you're not the banana throw, it. you're not hitting it. Yeah. I use the, the the very, very uh small use of the, the peanut gun. There we go, that new dash attack. Maybe. Still at seventy percent, racking up a lot of. Uh, the, Slingshot has a bunch of bunch of extra credit for himself. Uh, if he does get the stock taken from it, extreme speed definitely gonna come back on the stage. So easy from the blast zone or near the blast zone. Dash attack. That's been a great move for Vivi in these sets so far. Okay, the grab not working out. At one oh three right now is Vivi already needs to take the stock off the forward air nearly enough on its own. Charging up, trying to get one more of those uh, wow. ledge hang aura spheres, but <laughs> that was so good. I just, it, it just registered to me what happened. Um, aura sphere dash tag, I guess, is a confirm, which I did not know. So yeah, really great stuff from Vivi and utilizing the dash tag, which has been so good for him thus far, and he's gonna be able to take that stock off. Really excellent mix up right there, if it not a true combo. And honestly, now Zingers has to be really, really precarious at the moment because he has to take out this dog or he's going to get 60% to put on him in like about 5 seconds. So easily with uh, BB at max rage and with Aura like active. Yeah, he's in danger right now. Yeah, he's uh, in a lot of danger. You know, BB's going to do a lot of shield pressure with Aura Sphere charging up against that shield. And of course, he will probably confirm it into like a back air or something like that. Yeah, and BB's just been using that lingering nair so well to catch those jump-ins. Oh, that's oh, going to be enough Okay, okay, I see you. String just, sling just kind of standing there, like, yeah, I did that, I did that. All right. Yeah, and th the thing in this matchup, generally speaking, is that like this part of the matchup is easy for Diddy. Once you have Lucario at low percent, you're just a better character. Mm -hmm. you, you get to just play your neutral. You get to kind of move around the center, some really small hitboxes without aura. It's really when at that late percent that it's it's, it's difficult. And right now, you're seeing how well. Uh, Slingshot's just like maneuvering around Lucario and yeah, he died. There that's we go. Ga that's game two Slingshot right there. That's That is a, a yeah. whole new man. Slingshot is so good at adapting uh, using the first game as a way to really find out what his opponent is, is uh, can, he can he can capitalize on on their uh, yeah, weaknesses. Just reading the jump, like really hard. Like that's just a hard. He covered two whole areas yeah. with that Z drop of the Z drop of, of the banana. Yeah, you're gonna see right here. Yep. So Diddy he drops the banana, which covers the straight down, meaning that Vivi wasn't forced to jump because Lucario's recovery is good enough to make it back yep. to the stage there. But what felt the need to because that banana was getting Z dropped, and Diddy has just enough air drift to move back and cover the other side. Yeah, with that down air and boom, wow. bam, well, that bop. Hit, they hit Lucario's bam. tail. Hold on, hold on, hold they on. Lucario's wait. tail sticking out. Zoom in. Yoink. Oh no. Well, that's crazy. Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's still sticking out. Anyway, we'll go on to the next set. But okay. yeah, uh, maybe that because of Lucario's tail. Ah, getting a taste that of Mewtwo. Sucks. Getting a taste of Mewtwo. Mewtwo, right Zard. That, that tail, bro. Okay. Wow, and a great early response Ooh. from uh, Slingshot to start this game off. We're seeing his combo game is just so beyond excellent. Now, let's see, going over to small battlefield. Uh, I don't really necessarily think of it as a 
humongous counter pick, like Game Changer for Diddy. He, I think he does well in this age anyway. Uh, just gives, it gives him a little bit less space to move around in. That's really it. And that allows DB to really hone in on where he's going to be. Because there's only so much limited space you can be at once uh, as Diddy. But it almost doesn't matter because we have Vivi kind of having to struggle um, closing out these, like, this like, percentage difference that he has between Zingsar and himself. So hopefully Vivi will be able to close it out a lot more with this max aura he's starting to uh, to get up on. Okay, has came back to the floor. Vivi's really been struggling to land thus far um, in this set. Um, you know, just an excellent advantage. We know that Slingshot's strongest um, actually as a player is that an advantage state, and it's going to work out for him to take that stock there or down to the up smash with a full stock lead. Yeah, he and Vivi was not able to get that shield pressure that he really likes to get onto into like down air, and he just it just completely uh, missed. Cut. I think it's just how small Diddy is, and his hitbox likely wasn't or his hardbox wasn't uh, big enough to get hit by the down air. Down air. So really bad for Vivi in that moment. A little bit of straight pressure and into force match. There you go. Exactly what you needed. The classic bait stuff. Bait the out Jin after with the Aura Sphere. Go take that stock. A uh, little bit of a 50-50 right there between the um, you know combo and the forward smash, and allows Vivi to take that stock over uh, Slingshot. And we're going to stock number two here. Again, Slingshot just showing how good he is an advantage. These combo game obviously very, very strong. Um, but you're just, he's just showing like, how far you can extend it. I completely agree. You know, Diddy's a character. He, oh my. Anyway, Diddy's a character. Well, you might die. That is a very good combo. Uh, these combos that Lucario with Kissing Colin because, of course. That command go. grabbed? That command grabbed him! What? The banana command grabbed! You, you love to see it. But now, no aura! Which no aura. VV 0% last stock, last game, and Slingshot has a fresh start to play with. He's able to get a lot of percentage on VV as extra credit before he's, you know, hopefully doesn't get his stock taken away so easily. He can go over to uh, to Grand. But again, that's, that's not count on VV just yet. You know, Lucar does have that comeback mechanic of the uh, Max Aura and Max Rage. So let's see what he can do with this uh, this maneuver around Diddy as much as he can. Ooh. Oh no! Going for those landing aerials not working out. Um, you know, we're gonna bunch. But Vivi needs to start coming in with some adaptation. Uh, Slingshot is looking so, so strong. Slingshot is looking amazing right now. And this is like exactly what we're trying to look for. Someone who has, this is exactly what we see we saw probably last week where he got second for a reason. He's playing super well against a lot of his a lot of these characters, all these matchups that typically I don't even think is very, uh, very apparent, like very common for Diddy. So he's doing amazing at these uh, these advantage states that he has at the moment. Also, just seems to be adapting to the situation as much as he can. Oh my god, all these exchanges are so anxiety inducing. Yeah, this is a lot of aura for Lucario. There and we go, yep. Gonna confirm right there, that's huge for Vivi. One two stock to one stock, Lucario with all of this aura. We're getting dangerously near though to that Diddy Kong kill percent range. Ooh, going for that mix-up with the monkey flip. So I think what Vivi has to do here is play a little more of a patient game rather than approach too much. Because it, Slingshot does get a little bit um, antsy and does like to be more aggressive and uh, loves to approach first. So Vivi used it to his, to his advantage by being more patient and scale back the game as much as he can. He might be able to clutch out this game for himself with his uh, his. Aura. Oh my gosh! Like, just like that, he's antsy for these up smashes. He can't be doing everything just like that. Now that Vivi's slowly back down, he has max aura, max rage. Very dangerous situation for Slingshot at the moment. And Ooh. the movement in the corner from Slingshot oh, been so good. The back air is enough. Slingshot over Vivi. And that is, again, the adaptation so, so good for Slingshot. Um, and really just an excellent job overall in that game two and game three of that set. Pretty dominant. Was kind of looking so clean in disadvantage. And caught the jump again. Same exact way that uh, Slingshot, or pretty darn similar way that Slingshot ended up taking the set over Dill earlier yep. in bracket. Takes the set, the, stock, the set over Vivi. That jump read back air in the corner. Right here, I, it was, was really. Oh no, it wasn't here. But no, it was, uh, it was where I. Uh, where he missed like the the down air he wanted to get on that. On that. But yeah, it was the next stock where he did the no. great confirm right here. Oh. Yeah, that was really good. Um, I want to see the. The. So this was a, spear, this was a, spear, and then. No, this was a command grab. Oh, this is and second stock. So the, the way that Diddy Banana works is that while. It's a active hitbox when you throw it, it can't hit your shield. Mm -hmm. But if it is on the floor next to you and you are shielding, it command grabs you. So you're going to see that happen here. Banana is out. So Banana goes up. Vivi dashes back and then is going to dash forward here. 
The banana hits Vivi's shield. You're going to see that here. Or actually, doesn't even whiffs. But because this is actually, oh, actually one amazing recognition by, um, by Sling here. Because not only does he know that the banana is falling down, he says, the banana's not close enough. I'm going to push your shield into it, dummy. And then, he, and then pushes Vivi into the banana. It command grabs the shield. And he's able to get the up smash stick stock. That's a love smash, but yeah. Slingshot, you're you're a genius, bro. Uh, yeah, banana command. That was like one thing in Smash Four that everyone like despised, and it's still in this game. It's 